are at Anastasia State Park, which is just east of St. Augustine. We are here for five nights. It is um, right on the beach. The, the campsites are within walking distance to the beach. It is late February. We're in campsite 46, Anastasia State Park. This is a tent only site. Yeah, you can see we have a little bit more than a tent, but uh, we fit fine. It's a little tight. But, uh, one of the benefits about having a small teardrop trailer like this is when the campsite is full of RVs, which it so frequently is, many times we can get into the tent sites. It turned cold um, yesterday. It rained all day yesterday. I did no filming. But we pretty much stayed inside the camper and stayed under this little canopy to try to stay dry. But um, today, it, the clouds have parted and we have uh, fairly clear skies, but it is still cold and windy. So we are keeping the walls up on our tent. So you can see there's not much room here on this campsite. This is uh, I'd say very likely the smallest campsite we have ever been in and the ground is all dirt it's not gravel so yesterday we had a little bit of a, a mess to deal with but we made it through uh, it, it's we're having a great time but this is our campsite it's small um, down the road we do have no one to the side of us these people pulled in yesterday uh, it's pretty secluded here. We, I, I feel like the privacy is gets an A+, plus, even though the campsite's very small. Like, I just wanted to show you one of these campsites. This is site number 41. Site 40. There seems to be a lot of vegetation between each campsite. 39. Hello. Mm -hmm. 37. It's a large one. One of the larger. It is 6.30 on Sunday morning and I am headed to the beach. There is a seven mile trail uh, that's along the beach that I'm going to take my electric bike down. You can see there's quite a few amenities here to help the beach goer. And um, this beach access is very close to the campsite. It's easily walkable and even more easily uh, bikeable. It is overcast today and it is very early so there's not a lot of people here right now. Fred and I drove up here yesterday and we drove into this little island beach shop and grill and I asked them how do you access the beach on a bicycle because you can see the boardwalk here um, it says no bicycle access allowed. Well if you look just to the right of that wooden boardwalk there is a sandy access that they said was acceptable for bicycles so that's where we're going to go this morning oh boy so it is bumpy but look at this access it's some kind of a mat that they have put down i don't think i'm going to get much of a sunrise this morning but I will have a beautiful, quiet drive along this beach. It's a very easy access. I, I'm just amazed at the access from the campsite to the beach shore. And there is a seagull right there that has its sights on this little crab. There's one man walking on the beach there. I think I saved 
save this little crab from a seagull that was trying to get it. that this really is a white sandy beach. There's a lot of crushed shell. The sand dunes here are extraordinary. The sand dunes at Topsail Hill, Hill were beautiful. The sand dunes at the National Island Seashore were beautiful and these are beautiful. I can understand why they protect sand dunes. Not only are they beautiful, but they also serve a purpose for beach erosion. This electric bike that I purchased I don't know, sometime late in 2021. It is now late February 2022. This electric bike has been such a joy. Um, it was a little under $2,000, which is not bad for electric bikes. I did quite a bit of research on them. I, I got the Hemingway step through, but it has been such a joy. And to be able to ride it along this beach is, is amazing. And I know I, I said the same thing at Cumberland Island National Seashore, but take a look at that video. It has some incredible footage of me riding the beach along that national seashore and this is a very similar and this beach, uh, like I mentioned a minute ago, it's a lot easier to access than taking the ferry over to Cumberland Island National Seashore. Anastasia State Park, even if you don't camp here, it is worth your efforts to make it here and come visit this beautiful beach. This walk that I'm on, I read was seven miles um, there and back. So I guess I've got about three and a half miles to go to get to the end. It is very bumpy out here on this beach. So if this video is coming through smooth, it is the GoPro amazing stabilization. I have the GoPro Hero 9. It, the stabilization on this little camera is incredible sometimes. So I can't wait to see what this footage looks like. It is a very bumpy right now on this bike. Very bumpy. You can see I'm not getting much of a sunrise this morning. So with that said, And with the situation of my battery, and I don't believe I'm even halfway to the end, I'm going to turn around. I will uh, go home, recharge this battery. I think this morning when I left, um, even though the bars told me it was full, it was probably right on the verge of, of dropping a bar. And once it starts dropping bars, it drops them pretty rapidly. So I think I'm going to go back this morning, uh, recharge my body. So a few hours later, and it looks so different. The fog is gone, the skies are blue, the water looks beautiful, and there's quite a few more people on the beach right now. a beautiful day it would be just as much fun to me to put on a swimsuit and walk this seven mile path get some sun get a little exercise it's so beautiful if you don't have an electric bike get out here and walk it because it's going to be amazing for you
This is so pretty. I had to turn my camera back on. It's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful day too. I think it's gonna get about 80 degrees today. I think I'm gonna stop for a second and take a little rest. I really like this bike. It has not given me any trouble. It cuts through the sand like butter. It's, uh, I, I, I can't uh, recommend it enough. And in my little paneer packs on my bike, I forgot, but I had my chair. I just keep it in there. Um, this little Helionox chair, I love it. It's a lightweight chair. I've had it for about five years. I bought it for backpacking and I have used this so many times over the years. I can't recommend it enough either. It comes in this little pouch and um, you just always have it and it's so handy. So I think I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and take some pictures. chair I have switched cameras I am now using my Canon camera it does not have the stabilization that the GoPro does and I did not bring my tripod so I really enjoy seeing the difference in video quality between the GoPro Hero 9 and my Canon 80D getting to the end of the island or where the island cuts back to the west that's what's happening I'm coming to the point of that Anastasia Island absolutely gorgeous look at those three beautiful seagulls So I'm at the point now, and look at all these birds out here. It's amazing.
I really don't know how it could get much better than this. It's a Sunday afternoon. The sun feels amazing. It's late February. Beautiful day. It's moments like these that enrich your life. little jetty right here might signify the end of this trail. I'm not sure how far past this little jetty you can go. Yeah, we'll check it out. Oh my goodness. There's a ton of pelicans over here on this jetty. And the photo opportunities here are incredible. here than I anticipated. I do think that you can continue on around this island. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it, it certainly appears that way. Um, but I am out of time. I, I'm sure that Fred is starting to worry about me and um, I've been gone quite a while, so I'm gonna have to turn around and go back. But this is an amazing place. Um, if you don't have an electric bike, like I said, be sure you walk it. And if you have an electric bike, bring it. It's, it's fantastic.